I got two poems I'm gonna do tonight. Um, this first poem is called uh, Deadbeat Father. Paula. <laughs> Goes like this. Every week I see my child running the streets, but the child doesn't recognize who I am. The child has my eyes and big buck teeth. However, I can't help my child to get off the shelf because I can barely help myself. So have the child for adoption or give it to somebody else. I thought my baby's mother got an abortion, but she lied to me. Now she keeps on calling me to give her some money for diapers and formula milk. Please, I'm already paying child support. I babysit once on the weekends, but I'm going to be leaving because it's the fly ladies and money that I'm seeking. Besides, the child gets on my damn nerves. I know it's sad, but what do you expect? How can I raise a child when I'm not a responsible man? Plus, I grew up without a dad. Once I was born, my mother threw me in a trash can because of the drug habit that she had. I don't even love my baby mother, and the child was an accident. I should have sexed her with the rubble. When I, whenever I see my child, I don't even bother with the drama. Now the whole neighborhood knows that I'm a deadbeat father. Meet Melvin. He is a 25-year-old. He abandons his two kids and a wife because he loves to get high. Check out his bony cheekbone in his bulgy eyes at night standing on a dope trap just to get another fix he used to be slim with a small six pack now he weighs less than a tic tac <laughs> Melvin was a follower never a leader he can't teach his children because he would always go to the dope dealer Melvin was always running the streets instead of taking care of his family it's sad that the children's father is a deadbeat now crack is part of their family tree and is part of their African American history Melvin doesn't have a plan. His soul feels cold because he sold it to the dope man. Melvin goes in and out of court because he complains about paying child support. He, does, he doesn't take his children out around New York or teach them how to play sports. Now then calls them to see what is going on unless he wants to see if they are born a girl that looks like me alone. Maybe one day he shall discover or recover from an addiction that took control of every sister and brother. Warm smiles, good laughs, hugs, and kisses to a child's to the children's mother, that would be cool if he was a good lover. However, Melvin doesn't want to be bothered. I hope he believes in karma. Man, Melvin was my dope fiend father. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, you know, um, this next poem is called Wake Up Niggas. The reason why I titled Wake Up Niggas is because, you know, as a whole, you know, especially the young youth, we call each other niggas like they ain't nothing. So, wake up, niggas. Yeah. Wake up, niggas. It's time to make a difference. Own our business. Raise your children. Stop being willy lynched by the system. Wake up, niggas. Why you in a club busy poking for seven days and seven nights? I'm on a cruise ship selling on the Virgin Islands for seven days and seven nights. Wake up, niggas. You keep investing in Jordan sneakers, diamond chains, and luxury cars that depreciate once it's off the lot. I'm investing in real estate. The value of the house is too much to count. Wake up, niggas. You are too Americanized. Don't you realize that you're still the white man's prize? And it's because of you that Willie Lynch is still alive. Wake up, niggas. Oral sex is a European thing. Back in Africa, we let it all hang and swing. Wake up, niggas. Why are you plotting ways for me to die? It's because you don't really love who you are on the inside. Wake up, niggas. Rapping and modeling is not the only way out of the hood. You can become a doctor, lawyer, poet, rapper, artist, or cook cuisine foods. Wake up, niggas. Selling drugs and using drugs is another form of slavery. Wake up, niggas. Showing your guns, flashing jewelry and money on DVDs is open season for the police. Wake up, niggas. You are not a minority, but a majority. Wake up, niggas. Can't you see the clan is getting bigger? Bodies are still being lynched in the deep south. Slave plantations are still being run in large amounts. Wake up, niggas. You are not black, but a descendant of African kings and queens. Wake up, niggas. Stop walking around with the hood mentality. Stop walking around with more morality. Wake up, niggas. Don't be scared to read. The knowledge you gain will help you succeed. Wake up, niggas. We don't need any black leaders. It's time for us to lead us. Wake up, niggas. Know your roots. Why are you ashamed of your history? The truth will set you free. But then again, niggas always neglect the truth, so let it be. Wake up, niggas. It's a coming of age. Why are you not using protection or getting tested? Did you hear of AIDS? Wake up, niggas. Niggas are scared to start a revolution. They'd rather kill each other off the for a better solution. Wake up, niggas. I guess the only time a nigga will wake up is when a nigga rise from the grave, but then even then it's too late, and that's a damn shame. <laughs>